Blessings and welcome everyone. Just a reminder before we begin, your rising sign horoscope will give you additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign horoscope may show up, and your moon sign horoscope will give you the less prominent side story that'll also be playing out for this two-week period. Remember, horoscopes serve best when observed, like a weather or traffic report. You have influence over all outcomes with your thoughts, actions, choices, and deeds. Use the information that presents to help you make the highest choices for the highest outcomes. If you wish to schedule any of my services or like access to more content via my Patreon, on, follow the links below or go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. Hi there, Taurus. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to the week starting March 29th, 2021. And yeah, I'm not appearing in this uh, video because I've got a lot of cards to look at and I really don't want to get distracted by having to look into the camera. So we're not going to do that. You can see me in a bunch of other videos. Uh, in fact, I actually, just for this week, moved the astrology portion to its own video because the full moon in Libra is pretty involved. And you can follow the link below if you haven't already seen it to go check it out on my main channel page. I've also got, of course, the bonus astrology report up on Patreon, so you can see me in that as well. And a new monthly energy report for folks who are spiritual practitioners who are interested in looking and seeing what the elemental weather is up to. So what is going on when it comes to this uh, horoscope? I'm actually doing double passes. So we're going to be looking at this and this in terms of, you know, looking at two big factors of the week as opposed to just one. Well, for your spiritual themes of this week, you actually have the Emperor reversed and the Sun card reversed. And combined, these just spell a need for a, a bit of simplification and, and return to innocence. But the Emperor card reversed I'm actually seeing here is paying attention to where we are going to need to be maybe undoing, dismantling, or rewriting a lot of rules, codes of conduct, uh, maybe a lot of pillars of stability that we have built around ourselves that are actually doing the opposite of their intention. Because of the Emperor card reversed, yes, we have to pay attention to where there are some tough calls that we made in the past that still didn't bring us to where we are. However, with the Sun card reversed, we are also seeing recovery. We're seeing healing, energetically positive reversals also occurring, especially because the sun card reversed is showing where there is actually a lot of easier ways than ways we've been taught, ways we've been told, or maybe even, you know, easier ways than ways we've committed to when it comes to securing our own health, wealth, and happiness. In fact, with the sun card reversed, not only is there a big recovery going on, but I'm actually seeing a lot of very positive and, you know, again, near instant gratification opportunities that show up when a lot of substitutes to a lot of goals, a lot of standings, a lot of rules and plans that you have set up yourself pop up for you to really evaluate. In fact, as we get on to your material shifts when it comes to your work, your job, and your finances. We actually have the Seven of Cups upright and the Six of Swords upright. And so a lot of you are going to be feeling a bit spoiled for choice. That Seven of Cups is going to be throwing up a lot of opportunities for you to make uh, some big breaks, some big shifts when it comes to a financial or, or professional priority, maybe even a living situation priority, because it's opening up the world to you. I do feel with this Seven of Cups, it's going to be very important for you to understand that it's going to require you to step away from things that you feel like you've mastered, that you've gotten down to a science. Because with the Seven of Cups, a lot of these things are going to actually be either pretty cutting edge or off the beaten path. And of course, you're going to want to sample them, make some smart decisions. You don't have to narrow it down to one decision on Monday and commit to that for the rest of your life. That would be foolish. No, but with the, you know, the Seven of Cups, you know, jobs that you didn't think you were going to be a match for are going to be offered. Uh, financial opportunities you weren't looking for are going to be popping up in your face. 
Some of these things are going to be wastes of time, but not all of them. Because with the Seven of Cups, half the half the journey is figuring out which of these is actually the golden ticket, and it is hidden among them. Now, the cool thing is, is we get a little help with this, because the Six of Swords is also indicating here that a lot of you are getting a chance for a big breakthrough to actually transition to a completely new working environment that might help you narrow things down. Uh, whether it's a new working environment, a new living environment, or maybe a, a completely different area of your field or a completely different area of your financial life that you've not been able to give a lot of focus to. Now, the Six of Swords is indicating that if you choose to take this up, you are going to have to brush up your education a bit for this. You know, either learn how to get up to date with it. It does feel like, yes, you are going into the unknown. You are jumping from one side of the world to the next. But what I like about the Six of Swords is that this is an onwards and upwards up opportunity. So a lot of you are going to be finding that, you know, getting away from the tried and true and familiar is absolutely working for you. Let these options of the Seven of Cups show up and then pick the ones that take you out of that familiar territory from the Six of Swords. As we get on to your, uh, your communi community, <laughs> there we go, communications, community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you actually have the Seven of Swords upright and the Star card reversed. And with the Seven of Swords upright, a lot of you Taurus people are probably going to be finding that uh, a friend or a relative, um, or maybe even an entire group or, or collective is not who or what they, they pose themselves to be. Because I'm looking at the Seven of Swords and I'm actually seeing, okay, we're actually catching somebody being fake. Now, whether it's they're being fake because they're choosing to deliberately be deceptive and misrepresent themselves, or we find out they're fake because they were kissing our ass and they were just trying to make a good impression, that all depends on what's going on with y'all. But with the Seven of Swords, we are going to need to pay attention to what this means about what can and cannot or should or should not ever be maybe entrusted to this person or these folks uh, for sensitive care. Because with the Seven of Swords and the Emperor card reversed, I'm kind of like, okay, we may have made a call we should not have. Um, maybe we made that call based on criteria that don't serve, right? Maybe they just knew how to talk the talk. That's never good enough. It's okay, don't give yourself a hard time because with the Star card reversed, we have a substitution showing up instead. With the star card reversed, we actually have a breakthrough as it relates to uh, a friend or a relative or somebody that you do care about, uh, about something that is actually starting to bear fruit as far as a joint passion, a joint initiative, uh, maybe something that you guys were working on together, or whether it was as a as a full blown you know collaboration or just something that you've both been aspiring to have or achieve and share with each other, the star card reverse is indicating some headway is being made on their end of things, and this is probably going to be something that you want to make some room for, you know. So whatever um, space you clear by rearranging things around that Seven of Swords character, well, give it to the Star Card Reversed character. As we get on to your challenge is this week, you've actually got the Queen of Wands upright and the Ace of Cups in reverse. So, number one, challenge with the Queen of Wands upright. I do feel that uh, this is kind of a weird... Um, <laughs> kind of a slap in the face kind of message I'm getting from the Queen of Wands. This week, Taurus, you're going to have to pay attention to where uh, we might have to own up to where we didn't follow good advice. And we've all gotten this at some point in time from the cards, you know, so again, don't feel, don't take it personally. You know, thousands of people are going to watch this. The, the situation with the Queen of Wands, though, when we have to pay attention to where we may have ignored good advice. We have to also own why we may have ignored good advice. Was it out of guilt? Was it out of self-consciousness? 
Maybe was it out of preferential treatment of another option that didn't pay off? The Queen of Wands upright is indicating that your challenge is going back and actually taking that good advice as opposed to maybe continuing to try and make a broken tool work. This is going to show up, however, in conjunction with that Ace of Cups reversed. So we have good news that comes with the opening of the heart because the challenge with the Ace of Cups reversed is paying attention to where you know, people need to be encouraged to open up, you know, opening up lines of communication, opening up our feelings, open, you know, giving people the floor to share their true feelings. But one of the things I'm also seeing with the Ace of Cups reversed is also being clear with people about maybe circumstances that you're not happy with that they think you're happy with, whether it's your teams, your friends, your partners, your family, because with the Ace of Cups reversed and that Sun card reversed, there are opportunities to reverse these conditions. We just got to make sure that we stop doing the grin and bear it thing, because that can be an act of self-sabotage. And so reversing that and taking good advice, we can do a lot of reversals this week. As we get on finally to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you actually have the Nine of Pentacles upright and the Chariot upright. A lot of you are coming into a real good way here because with the Nine of Pentacles, I'm actually seeing a lot of you single Taurus people getting into an opportunity to start seeing or getting closer to somebody that is very much in that self-made, developed, and successful way. This person knows who they are. And with the, what is interesting about the Nine of Pentacles is I'm actually seeing somebody that would actually be really good because I don't think they normally date people. I think that they might actually be a, a bit of an indi independent success themselves. And this would be something that actually, you know, could create also a strong friendship, a strong rapport in other ways. For those of you who are currently coupled, your partner is absolutely stepping into a very good way themselves. Uh, possibly coming upon some kind of treasure, bit of information or a bit big find that really is also going to help do a lot of adjustments towards the positive as it relates to our lives outside of the relationship. The chariot card is indicating a lot of you single Taurus people may also be finding that you are actually able to start indulging a side of your life or a side of your uh, you know, romantic or um, intimate uh, sensibilities that maybe has actually gone unaddressed or maybe has not necessarily been um, enjoyed. You know, we've just kind of gone without a bit of a dry spell or maybe something where uh, we've just never actually gotten to go there with people. The chariot card upright is allowing you to, you know, whether it's bringing in a new person, whether it's the nine of pentacles person or somebody else to also have that as an option. And for those of you who are currently coupled, the chariot card is indicating your relationship with your partner is also taking on this extra dynamism because an element of our relationship that maybe was lagging behind in development is catching up very, very quickly and just becoming a lot more well-rounded all around for all of us. So that is what I've got for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because you all know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you all go ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Since blessed Ireland.